Hello and welcome. My name is Biagio Mazza, pastoral associate at St. Sabina Parish in Belton, Missouri. And I'm here to welcome you to another Do You Know series question. Today's Do You Know question is, do you know the impact of the Trinity on Christian living? As Easter comes to a close with evening prayer on Pentecost Sunday, uh, we resume the ordinary time that was interrupted by the great 90 days of the festal season of Lent, Easter, and Pentecost. So we resume what we've called Numbered Sundays. Um, the, the church places the Sunday at the Pentecost as ordinary time a numbered Sunday, but the feast that we celebrate on the Sunday at the Pentecost is always referred to by its feast name, which is basically the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. So it focuses on Trinity Sunday. Why is it placed on immediately after the Feast of Pentecost? Well, we have just completed 90 days of celebrating the mysteries of our salvation, and with Pentecost we have celebrated the gift of the of of the spirit that Jesus promised upon his followers to embolden them to carry out his mission and ministry. And therefore, it's rather appropriate that right at the Pentecost, we celebrate and reflect on the meaning and significance of God as Trinity. Now, Trinity is our Christian belief of three persons in one God. And what that communicates often is the mystery that we know God is love. And by its very nature, love reaches out always outside of itself into the loved one. And for us, within the context of God, we understand or speak of that reaching out of love into another as the Son of God, and then that love between the Father and the Son overflows into a third name, the Spirit. And therefore, by our very nature, we believe that God's very essence is one of love, love in relationship. Within God, we call that the Trinity. That love that flows not just within God, but outside of God and into the world is us. Creation is a result of God's love overflowing outside of God into creation. So we are called uh, and invited from the very first moment of our creation. We are born and conceived and born with God's love suffused in us. And as God invites us to uh, love in return the way God has loved us. We celebrate, uh, we celebrate the the Trinity in two very common religious traditions. One is the sign of the cross. So whenever we make the sign of the cross, we are actually recalling and celebrating the interrelationship that exists among our God, three persons in one God. Uh, and also in a prayer form that we call the doxology, a Greek word for praise of God. Whenever we do what we call the glory be, glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, is always a praise of the Trinitarian formula for God and of God. And therefore, we celebrate that whenever, in most many common ways, our prayers and many of our songs and the psalms always end with a doxology and a praise of God. And therefore, as we look at the Trinity, it's important to realize that first we understand God as being in relationship because of love that overflows into the other. And then we understand ourselves and all of creation is a result of God's overflowing love outside of God's self. And therefore, we are born and conceived in God's love. And as we are born and conceived, God continually invites us to love the same way that God has loved us. And we do that oftentimes by sharing the love that we have been given with others, because in loving others, we love God. The power of the Spirit that we celebrate at Pentecost is exactly that. 
the spirit is the spirit of love that enables and empowers us to really reach out to others and establish those, the love relationship that God has loved us first and as we respond in love to one another. And we all know from the Gospels that whenever we love one another, we are truly indicating our love of God and in, in thanksgiving to God for the great love that he has, God has shared, showered upon us in um, our creation and in all of the uh, beauty of love that surrounds us. So as we reflect on the Trinity, as you celebrate the Feast of the Trinity, the Most Holy Trinity, I would ask you to reflect on the, the way you have been showered by God's love in your own life and how you continue or try or strive to continue to share that love and that care and concern for others which God has shared with us. For in relationship with God, we too are suffused with love and reach out to others in love. So I hope this has helped a bit to explain the significance of the Trinity on Christian living, and I hope you will return again to more of the You Know series questions to be more informed about our faith and to grow into our spiritual lives. Thank you very much.